We're here at the 2018 NRA Annual Meeting in Dallas, Texas. It's not only a Gun Gurus reunion here on Curator's Corner, it's a Gun Gurus takeover on Curator's <laughs> Corner. Phil and Jim, Jim Sapika and Phil Schreier from the NRA Museums. Gentlemen, bringing wonderful surprises, treasures here for Curator's Corner. What do we have now, gentlemen? Take it over. Well, we've got a, an exhibit from the Collector's Row exhibits here, and this is from a gentleman who's been very generous to us with loans over the years of fascinating guns. This is a gun with some Hollywood history to it, and uh, Phil is our Hollywood guy, so why don't you pick it up here, Phil? Well, the, uh, the annual meetings, we get to bring all our affiliated gun collector clubs in. We had some uh, room in our hearts in on the show floor for a, a very special group, the former Texas Rangers Foundation. Oh, i got to love that. And we've got Sergeant Joe Davis, who's the president of, of the te former Texas Rangers Foundation, a sergeant in the uh, Texas Rangers before he retired, and uh, our good friend Al Frisch, uh, law enforcement from uh, Southern California, who is, as Jim mentioned, one of our, our, our staunchest uh, supporters, uh, benefactors, lenders. <laughs> and, uh, uh, gentlemen, you brought a, a wonderful display. Al, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the She Wore Yellow Ribbon Carving. Well, you know, almost 20 years ago, I was fortunate to participate in the dissolution of the Stembridge Gun Rentals collection, which was a lot of guns. And at one point, I became a 20% owner of it, and I gained some really choice pieces. This is one of them. It's a carbine that papers to She Wore Yellow Ribbon and Fort Apache. Uh, God knows how many other films it went out on, but those particular noteworthy films. And, and of course, the Sabre is a genuine German import for the Civil War. Came out of uh, Western Costume Company, uh, who supplies edge weapons for many things as well as the, uh, the, the aluminum swords you saw all over the Mexican soldiers in John Wayne's Alamo, <laughs> which I got the last of. <laughs> Al, we get a lot of questions from people who are looking at the great Hollywood guns that you have on loan to us in our two museums in Fairfax and uh, Springfield, Missouri. They want to know, are these real guns? Do they shoot? Well, the majority, of, particularly the revolvers, unless they've been altered, and uh, they will shoot the caliber or possibly the five-in-one blank that was used in cowboy movies all the time because it worked in two caliber rifles and three caliber pistols, 45, 44, 40, 38, 40. Um, autos, all of the autos have to be fixed with a restrictor screwed into the end of the barrel to cause enough back pressure to make the action work. How about this one? Oh, well, this one we shot last May when there I brought go. out 80 guns. <laughs> yeah. We did a charity for the... Rangers Foundation to raise some money for the building of the Heritage Center. And so, well, at least the guys shot them till their shoulders hurt too much. Yeah, yeah, well, I love these. They've got original American history with them as a Absolutely. military issue arm during the oh, yes. American West. And then they've got this great secondary history of part of America's culture and the great classic films, the John Wayne classic Western. So oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a double duty gun right there. Ranger, tell us a little bit about the former Texas Rangers Foundation and a little bit about this. You, yeah, we got you a new gold badge there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us We're glad to bit. have you on board, too, Phil. A pleasure to be here. And uh, you've been a big supporter. Yeah, the Farmer Texas Ranger Foundation, which I'm a president of, is a 501c3 that actually uh, building this new heritage center in Fredericksburg. We had a museum in San Antonio, actually, since 1936. It was on Broadway next to the Whitty. So our board decided to build something state of the art so you could actually come in and we, you know kids today are all with the computers and they don't want to read a whole lot so in our museum and facility we're going to have five galleries where you come through you'll actually see history before your eyes i was talking to a young lady and, and gentleman down there a while ago and had the john wesley hardened pistol and uh, we're going to have a gallery in there you'll be in a train station and you'll see the actual capture of john wesley harding in the shootout so when you go through there, it'll be on a timeline from the beginning of the Rangers up to the present day. So we're very excited about getting this wow. done. We'll also have the artifacts, but you'll actually run, learn the role of the Ranger and the important role that he played in the development of the state. Well, you thank you so much. We're out of time for this one, but thank you so much for sharing. And thanks, guys, for bringing another treasure here on Curator's Corner.